Uh, hello, welcome to uh, a Sunday morning at Cold Garden Distillery where we are planting rootstock, right? That's planting right, rootstock. we're putting rootstock in pots uh, and then we'll let it uh, settle in for a week or two and then we'll graft on uh, cyan wood onto it. But did you get a good shot of all the beautiful daffodils and uh, this is tulips in the greenhouse here? My mom's greenhouse. And blood lattice. There's lettuce down there. But yeah, so uh, right. join us for this exciting adventure of planting rootstock. So um, these are the pots we're going to use. Um, this is G890 rootstock um, that we got from Cummins Nursery. Uh, we've had it soaking overnight in the uh, water with some um, mycological booster in it, soil conditioner they call it, uh, microorganisms. Uh, so we put uh, like a quarter cup of that in the water and then a bunch of uh, compost and soil in there to uh, get, them, get things started. Uh, let's look at how... Uh, See, some of these have nice root development on them. That, that's a good one. Some of them only have a have much less, but they should all take off fine once we get them in uh, good soil, and we'll bring them back in the greenhouse to uh, they'll, they'll develop a lot faster here in the greenhouse than they will outside. The temperature in here is uh, well right now it's at least 10 degrees warmer than outside. Overnight it drops to it becomes like about five degrees warmer than overnight because this uh, Greenhouse has a double layer of plastic and a inflator on it that little fan over there blows air in between the two layers and it makes a uh, insulative uh, gap All right, so let's go out to uh, put some dirt in the pots Here's the dirt that we prepared earlier it's a mixture of composted cow horse manure, uh, cow and horse bedding, and uh, loam that came, we've collected over from different excavations and uh, projects we've done around. inches above the top root more roots will come out here uh, we want to separate the roots gently because they break off fairly easily we're going to want to spread them out through the plant potting mix here all right so i'm going to take some of this dirt out and put it in here
the more you can spread it out the better you definitely do not want it to be wound around because if you uh, like make it in a spiral or something it'll just continue to spiral and become like a grow in on itself not good compact the soil down around it so you don't get any air in it air pockets in it aren't good and uh, then you want to wet it down the soil's fairly moist but still you want to wet it soak it down it's called watering in and soak it down We'll come back and give it another uh, dose of water about the same as that uh, after we're done. Thank you for joining us uh, as we prepped all this rootstock for grafts. Um, as you can see, we've got everything lined up against the wall of the greenhouse with the exception of these guys. The plan is that as soon as it gets warm enough, they're going to move outside, uh, probably in like three or four weeks. Right, and we'll graft onto them in about two weeks. About two weeks, we'll graft. Um, and then they'll come back in over winter. 
uh, and next spring, hopefully, we'll be able to plant them. Cool. That's so, the plan. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we do this every other Tuesday. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it so that you know when we're doing this again. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.